When the going gets tough, the tough turn to blood and gore to stop their bottom line turning red. Capcom is showing off the latest in its Resident Evil zombie killing series at the Tokyo Game Show, along with new versions of Monster Hunter and Street Fighter. This title is a very great title and uh, we can achieve uh, our sales target. The game industry generates more revenue than movies and music. Researcher Enterbrain estimates global sales of $48 billion last year. Demand is falling as global economies slow. In Japan, console sales were down 21% in the first half from a year ago. The head of Sony's games division says good software is the key to hardware sales. As an industry, so long as we're able to provide compelling entertainment content that really excites the consumers, especially in times like these, um, I think that the industry um, has potential to uh, make sure that uh, you know, it, uh, it, it really uh, continues its steady growth. While software sales in Japan fell 11% in the first half, four titles sold over a million copies. There's a real big gap developing between the winners and losers in the software market. The good titles will always do very well, even in a, in a recession. Um, the mediocre titles, the sort of casual end titles, um, I think those titles, those software makers will struggle. Nintendo became the top selling console maker by looking beyond the core game market of young men. Its Wii outsells Sony and Microsoft's consoles two to one. Analysts say with less spending power, casual gamers will put off purchases, while core gamers will still buy the latest titles. Nintendo doesn't have best-selling games like Halo and Grand Theft Auto, and when Capcom releases Resident Evil 5 next March, it will be available for PlayStation 3 and Xbox, not for the Wii. Nintendo is slowly building up its catalogue of core titles, and next year it gets Monster Hunter, the game that helped revive PlayStation Portable. Monster Hunter 3 is exclusive to Wii. Nintendo's rivals haven't written off the casual gamer. Sony and Microsoft are adding family-oriented games, social networking and movie downloads. When we look to go from our 20 million install base that we have today to 40 million and beyond, it's important that we continue to broaden our portfolio, make the Xbox more accessible. Sony and Microsoft are emphasizing the online capabilities of their consoles. So whether you're a casual player or a hardcore fan, the game of your choice is only a download away. Mike Fern, Bloomberg News at the Tokyo Game Show.